Good afternoon, awesome people. This is Nick to the Plus on Saturday, New Brumfels, Texas. How are y'all doing? Uh, this is day two. I did a live yesterday. I'm not sure why it, it didn't post. It was on my if I'm on my, my login. You know, I saw it, but. Uh, went to someone else's and it, for some reason it was messed up. So if you don't see me or if you see me, let me know, comment, uh, whatever. But how y'all doing today? Beautiful day here in Texas. Um, skies are clear, nice weather. This morning it was about 45. Me and Queen T went and um, ran at Madrone Trail. Who's ran our mountain bike Madrone Trail recently? This is the first time I've ridden in a while. And, um, the, you know, I don't know if you know, but the reason the Madrone Trail is called the Madrone Trail is because it has one of the few Madrone trees. And we went there, and it seems like lightning struck right in the middle, but it's still growing, so it's pretty cool, right? But um, if y'all ever been out there, that's one of my favorite parks, Canyon Park on Canyon Lake, Madrone Trail. I've had triathlons out there and stuff, so it's lots of fun. But uh, so we went to Rum. Still have a trainer ride and an easy run after that, transition run after that. So I'm uh, going to work on that a little later. But I thought I got on and do day two of run stories. How's everybody doing out there, right? So today was kind of a hard day for me because um, uh, the, the River Road run was held. You know, I created that um, around 2000 and um you know organized it for 15 16 17 years and um it's a long story but i don't have any more and so it's kind of uh depressing a little bit to have an event that you created and someone else has it so I won't go into detail because i don't want to be negative but it's a hard day kind of but um to be continued more events coming because that's who nick to the plus is my art form, creating events and contributing to the community, health and wellness, activity, experience. So go to Hill Country Playground Co. Co. Com to check it out. Those were my projects or Nick to the Plus. Look under projects, right? So uh, yesterday I mentioned kind of being aware when running. Uh, I mentioned that I did the finish line of Trail of Lights. And a lot of people finished and wanted to go back against upstream. Thousands of runners coming. Oh, I'm going to run upstream and look at the lights again. Well, why didn't you see them the first time? I was running. But, you know, I don't really understand that. But uh, I kind of wanted to get a little more into that. Um, you know, so I've been running for 30 years, you know, and we used to do runs and all you got was a cup of water at the end, right? You know, they are nowadays we have t-shirts and hats and swag and finisher medals, right? And that's all great and good. It's awesome, right? And if that motivates you, that's great. But, you know, I just want you to think a little deeper. Um, to me, you know, that's the material part of um, running and being awarded, right? But, you know, if you think a little deeper, why you run, you know, uh, be aware of your surroundings, you know, you're a part of nature, you're running in nature, be aware of what's around and check it out and, you know, be grateful that you you can get out and be active and run. Some people don't have that um, luxury, right? So uh, find gratitude in running and that's that's the biggest reward of having your health and ability to um be out there and running right so uh if you have any feedback or thoughts about that um let me know you know it's a great great discussion right so uh so on to the day story right so i mentioned about when i was 12 years old my dad timed me on a mile after running laps in soccer right so the next part of the story is running in middle school, right? So who out there ran or did high school or middle school athletics, right? Great times, you know, when you're in middle school, you have to dress out for PE, 
have your gym shorts and and have that whole experience you know i had a pretty good medical middle school experience i couldn't wait to get to seventh grade so i could run track right you can't run you can't do athletics in sixth grade so seventh grade ran for garner middle school in san antonio texas my dad and my sister actually went to the same middle school as me you know so we all went to garner middle school and macarthur high school but uh running track in middle school um you know i didn't have a whole lot of formal training i followed the training of the tr track coaches you know and they did the best they could you know they were primarily football coaches didn't know a whole lot about running but you know any kind of uh training is going to get you fitter right so i ended up in middle school seventh grade middle school and it, it repeated in eighth grade where i won all the meets the regular meets of the season right except the last one <clears throat> The last one, there was this guy we heard from Stevenson, uh, John Larkey. He's on here on Facebook. John Larkey is one of my greatest memories, winning all season and then getting out sprinted at the last part by John Larkey um, in middle school, right? Um, he actually moved to Garner in eighth grade, and I was all excited because we are going to be running together and training together and do great things right even if i couldn't beat him we'd get better together right i was all excited i think something ended up happening where his grades weren't and um he didn't end up running but someone else from another middle school the same thing the whole season i went through winning and um got beat the last the last race of this the season i forgot that person's name it didn't make as big of an impact but uh so but uh, I think I uh, had some school records at Garner Middle School. I think I did like a 205 or something, 800, and about, a, I think, a 514 uh, mile in eighth grade. So I don't know if that still stands. Um, oh, and another interesting story is in eighth grade, I, I, we had a seventh grader who was a pretty good runner and he we included him in our little group and we ran races zoo the zoo run and all that stuff uh alfredo garza and i actually i, I consider him kind of my first coached athlete because i was the eighth grader the big guy the older boy and i put took him under my wing and we ran together and trained together and he ended up breaking my mile record as a seventh grader so interesting story right so let me know what y'all's experience was middle school athletics if y'all ran or whatever and uh, let me know i'm interested so uh, I, I hope y'all have a great saturday i hope tomorrow's uh, just as nice tomorrow monica's mile uh, monica caban created the foundation um now now you see me because I don't know if you know her history, but she was struck by a car and injured. And then her passion was to help other athletes struck by cars or um, adaptive athletes, you know, so she has a great cause. So a bunch of people are going to go to Blossom Athletic Center tomorrow, swim, see how far we can swim in an hour, right? So I'm not sure if I'm in the shape to do two miles in one hour, but we'll see. Place your bets. Place, place your bets. How far can Nick to the Plus swim in an hour? We'll see. My first time with the new pool at Blossom, they just redid the pool. I have a lot of memories at the old pool. I was actually on the swim team back then. So anyway, uh, I appreciate y'all letting me share. Uh, start a conversation. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Um, but uh, how are you doing on your New Year's resolutions? I like to have daily resolutions. What are we doing today? What are we going to get done? Uh, I still need to do my planks for today. been doing planks four times a day at 42 seconds because I'm 42 years old, plus in addition to 11 pull-ups, 11 push-ups, 11 burpees, four times a day, so complete about 44, 42, 45 
uh, of those every day. So, but we're going to increase those, of course, right? So, I hope you all have a great day. Be healthy, be active, be aware when you're running, be grateful, and live to the plus. <laughs>